Well, several suburban school districts are going back to virtual learning this week as COVID-19 cases continue to surge. WGN's Megan Dwyer is live at Niles West High School with an update. Megan? Ben Lourdes, the students we talked to today say their holiday break, frankly, was enough time at home, so they are certainly disappointed. They're not going to be back in the classroom seeing their friends after Christmas, uh, but they understand that the decision was for safety. At first, I was kind of like, ugh, because you know, like last year. Students at some suburban high schools this week are packing up their lockers and heading back to their living rooms. Virtual for two more weeks just to be on the safe side. And they aren't the only ones letting out a collective groan. It's hard as a parent, you know. In Skokie's District 219, Niles West students say it's not exactly the new year they were hoping for. I wasn't surprised because I kind of keep track of like the positivity rate and like seeing how high it was just in Skokie kind of like made me realize that we were probably going to shut down. Parents say they just hope it doesn't stay this way. It's just like endless, you know, it's just like frustrating and um, also for them, it's so like uncertain, you know. Monday, Lincoln Way and New Lenox announced its students would be virtual for the rest of the week because of staffing shortages and a spike in COVID cases. Virtual, I feel, is really hard and uh, I don't follow all the material as well. I think this year might be easier, maybe. In Skokie, students were at school today to get COVID tests and pick up homework. I have gone to a couple family gatherings and I just wanted to be on the safe side to make sure that I don't expose anyone if I am uh, a carrier and don't know. It. Athletes have to continue their weekly shield tests and find their own rights to practice. It's a struggle, but I mean, hopefully it's only two weeks. While parents have to maintain their sanity and hope case numbers start to go down. I think kids sometimes are resilient more than we are, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's hard for them. I wonder, like in the long term, what is it going to do to them psychologically? So these students say they anticipate things are going to be a lot smoother than they were last year. They have different schedules and different protocols when it comes to virtual learning. So it seems like a lot of lessons were learned last school year. We're live at Niles West High School. Megan Dwyer, back to you guys. All right, Megan, thank you.